Hi again everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your teacher Aubrey on your screen. geometric figures and echo formed by parallel lines cut by a transversa. So in here, we will be using our protractor. Again, protractor. At mahaba-haba ko sa pato, so let's proceed to our lesson. And this is now our lesson for today. There are relationships of geometric figures and angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal. So, two lessons for this week. And our module is this. And the lessons in these modules are relationships of geometric figures, angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal, and the basic construction of angles. But first, let us have the two lessons. The first one is the relationships of geometric figures. So there are different relationships of geometric figures. We have adjacent angles, complementary angles, supplementary angles, linear pairs, vertical angles, congruent angles, parallel lines, and perpendicular lines. The first is the adjacent angles. So, based from the word adjacent, meaning in Ilocano, kaabay. In Tagalog, katabi. So, two angles are adjacent if they are coplanar, have common vertex, and a common side but have no common interior angles. Example nyan ay ito. We have angle A, and angle B as adjacent angles. Two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. So when we say 90 degrees, these two angles form a right angle. Ayan. We have, for example, angle A, B, and D measures 30 and Angle D, B, C measures 60 degrees and if you add the two angles, they form a right angle and it is 90 degrees. Next is the supplementary angles. So when we say supplementary angles, two angles are supplementary if the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. For example, this one. We have angle A, B, D measures 120 degrees and angle D, B, C measures 60 degrees and if you add them, they form 180 degrees. And this concept is the same with the linear pairs. So two angles form a linear pair if they are both adjacent and supplementary. Let's use the previous example because this is a linear pair and they are supplementary and also at the same time adjacent because they have a common side which is ray b d so angle a b d and angle d b c are linear pairs and supplementary angles and adjacent angles next we have the vertical angles Vertical angles are the opposite angles formed when two lines intersect. Vertical angles are congruent. So, ayan. Vertical, yung B at saka B, dito, kapareho. At dito rin, magkapareho. Ayan. Opposite angles are congruent. So, for example, if this is 150 degrees, then this part is also 150 degrees. And if this is 30 degrees, the other side is also 30 degrees. Next, we have congruent angles. Congruent angles are this one. For example, ito. And when we say congruent angles, they are the angles 
that have the same measures. So, pag 48 yung isa, yung isa dapat ay 48 din para matawag silang congruent. Parallel lines are lines that are equidistant to each other and does not meet even if you extend it. So, ayan yung example niya. And perpendicular lines are lines that intersect and form four right angles at ito rin yung itsura niya. Okay, so let's try examples. Tell whether the following statements are true or false. The first statement, if two angles are supplementary and one is acute, then the other angle is obtuse. Okay, so this is true. Next, if two angles are complementary, they are both acute. Yan, true ulit. If MN is perpendicular to NQ, then the angle MNQ is acute. If you draw this one, you can see that it is false. Kasi pag perpendicular, meaning they form right angles, therefore they are not acute, but they are right angles. Number four, congruent angles are complementary angles. Pwede rin, pero not always true. Kaya let's say it's false. Exception dito yung, for example, 45 degrees at 45 degrees. They are congruent and they are also complementary because their sum is 90 degrees. Pero it's not always true to this condition. So it's false. Not always true in the sense that if we have 30 degrees and 60 degrees, they are not congruent but they are complementary. Yon, yun yung sinasabi ko. Number 5, supplementary angles are also linear pairs. Nasabi ko na yan kanina, so it's true. Number 6, if two angles are adjacent and one angle is acute, then the other angle is obtuse. Hmm? It's not always true. Pwede rin, pero it's not always true. So, false. Number seven, linear pairs are also adjacent angles. Pwede rin. Yeah, it's true. And number eight, if two angles are linear pairs, then the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. True. And number 9, we have, if two angles are adjacent, then they are linear pairs. Not always true, so it's false. And number 10, if two lines are parallel, they form a right angle. This time, it's false because it should be perpendicular. Yan. That gets you guys. Okay, so let's proceed to the next lesson, which is the angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal. We have corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, interior angles on the same side of transversal, exterior angles on the same side of transversal, interior angles, exterior angles, and vertical angles. So the first one to discuss is the corresponding angles. If two parallel lines are cut by transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. Congruent angles are two non-adjacent angles, one interior and one exterior on the same side of the transversal. So gaya nito, for example, we have, we also have angle C, and angle G as corresponding angles. We also have angle B and angle F as corresponding angles, angle D, and angle H. Yan. Color coding na lang yung mga magkakapareho. Angle A is congruent to angle E, angle C is congruent to angle G, angle B is congruent to angle F, and angle D is congruent to angle H. Then let's have the next, the alternate interior angles. 
If two parallel lines are cut by transversal, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate interior angles are two non-adjacent angles on opposite sides of the transversal. So let's have this. When we say alternate interior angles, we have... First example is we have angle C and angle F. And the next pair is we have angle D and angle E. So therefore, angle C and angle F are congruent and angle D and angle E are also congruent. These are the alternate interior angles. Now let's proceed to the next to have the alternate exterior angles. If two Parallel lines are cut by transversal, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate exterior angles are two non-adjacent angles on the opposite sides of the transversal. So, let's have again this example. Alternate, nakita na natin kanina yung alternate interior dito sa loob. Now, let's proceed to the exterior. So, we have angle A and angle H as the pairs of alternate exterior angle. And the other pair is, we have angle B and angle G. Therefore, angle B is congruent to angle G and angle A is congruent to angle H. Let's have the next interior angles on the same side of transversal. If two parallel lines are cut by transversal, then the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. So let's have also interior angles on the same side of the transversal are two non-adjacent interior angles that lie on the same side of the transversal. So ito, lie on the same side of transversal dito raw. Pero this time interior. So we have angle C and angle E and we also have angle D and angle F and they are supplementary. Now we have angle C and angle E are supplementary angles. Meaning, their sum should be 180 degrees. And angle D and angle F are also supplementary angles. Now, let's proceed to exterior angles on the same side of the transversal. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. And exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are two non-adjacent exterior angles that lie on the same side of the transversal. So let's have again these examples. So we have A and G. We also have B and H. So we have angle A and angle G are supplementary. And angle B and angle H are also supplementary, meaning they form a 180 degrees angle. Interior angles. So when we say interior angles, any of the four angles made by transversal that lie inside the region between the two intersected lines. Ayan. So we have angle C, angle D, angle E, and angle F. Lahat ng nasa loob. And as a counter example, we have exterior angles as angle A, angle B, angle G, and angle F. Now, we have the vertical angles. So as we have said kanina, vertical angles are opposite. And they are having congruent measurements. So either of two angles formed by two intersecting lines and lying on opposite sides of the point of intersection. So we have, for example, dito we have 
angle A and angle D are vertical angles, therefore they are the same. And A is corresponding to angle E, so angle E is vertical or opposite to angle H. So ayan yung mga magkakapareho yung measurement. And on the other side, we have angle B is vertical or opposite with angle C and which is corresponding to angle G and angle G is also vertical or opposite to angle F so ayan yung mga magkakapareho color coding na lang lahat ng yellow they have the same measurement at lahat ng violet ay may the same measurement din so we have angle A and angle D B and C, E and H, and F and G. So let's have examples. Given line R is parallel to line S and having a transversal, and we have angle 3 as 60 degrees. So, pag 60 yung 3, yung 2, which is vertical, is also 60 degrees. We also have 6 as 60 degrees. And angle 7 as 60 degrees. And the other angles are, we know that these angles... Angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary and they are linear. So, meaning their sum should be 180 degrees. 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. Therefore, we have 120 degrees. So, if this is 60, then the other side is 120 degrees. And this is also 120 degrees, which is vertical to angle A. And angle 4 is corresponding with angle 8. So it is also 120 degrees. And angle 5 is opposite to angle 8. So this is also 120 degrees. Gets? So kung na gets nyo, it's your turn. Open your modules and do the activities assigned to you by your teacher. And thank you for watching this video. God bless you all everyone. So that ends our lesson for today and I hope you learned something. So kung naghahanap ka ng bonus, well, rewind mo, review mo ulit ito. Nasa example ko yung So don't forget to like, share, and